is this scary ingredient lurking in your vitamins and in your supplements. It's called magnesium stearate and it's no not magnesium as you may be thinking it's the mineral magnesium that you take as a supplement. It's magnesium stearate which is a chemical. Now that material data safety sheet for this chemical which they use as a flow agent to help to speed up production times helping to get sticky raw materials, vitamins, minerals, herbal medicines into the capsules or to make that hard tablet much more quickly. That's why they use them in the industry. And the material data safety sheet is very similar to this potentially toxic household cleaner that you may have in your home. Now, what does that mean? That means that we, when we are handling magnesium stearate, again, we should be wearing gloves. I should have a mask on, full lab coat, and doing these protective measures just to handle the magnesium stearate. Now, imagine that you're ingesting this in small amounts in your vitamins. And I know, if you didn't know, you didn't know. But when you learn this type of information, then you start to do your due diligence as to really paying attention to your vitamin labels and all the supplements that you're taking to make sure that it doesn't contain magnesium stearate. Okay, now why do I have my gloves on? Well, we're gonna do a little experiment. So if you remember back from grade school, maybe early high school, when we're talking about the whole volcano, the acid plus a base. We're going to do that experiment, but then now I'm going to also show you the difference when something is coated in magnesium stearate and what types of effects that can actually have on the absorption and the bioavailability of something and a substance, vitamin, mineral supplement, that actually contains that magnesium stearate within it. Okay, so let's get started. Are we ready? Here we've got, as we know, baking soda, a base with our vinegar and acid. And this is a normal chemical reaction. That whole volcano is what I'm going to be expecting in this reaction. All right, let's see what happens. Yes, we get that huge explosion, exactly what we would expect. Now in the same light, again, I have some baking soda, but I've used some magnesium stearate to be able to make it more slippery to be able to get it into the capsule, much like they do in the vitamin industry. Now because that magnesium stearate is going to coat, it goes on top of those raw materials. It could be your vitamins, your minerals, your herbal medicines as well. In this case, it is our baking soda because it's coated that raw material. Now when I open up, and again, this is still baking soda and vinegar, we do not see the same type of chemical reaction as we did here because it's coated in the magnesium stearate. Now, the scary thing, again, about the magnesium stearate is that it's never been tested to be safe for long-term human consumption. And again, it's in most of the vitamins that are out there, so please do check your vitamin and supplement bottles. The other aspect that we have to think about here is in terms of absorption. So any supplement that actually has magnesium stearate within it, how well is it actually absorbed if it's coated in that magnesium stearate? And often when you're finding now supplements of a higher quality, and of course you know that I love whole food nutrients, whole food supplements that don't use the magnesium stearate, it may also say vegetable stearic acid, vegetable magnesium stearate to make it look like it's more natural. So this is one of the reasons why I prefer to take more natural substances, more natural supplements, vitamins, minerals in their whole food state that doesn't use that magnesium stearate because that could compromise the absorption, of course, of the vitamins and minerals, the herbal medicines that I'm taking. Now, another thing to consider is that some people anecdotally have reported heart palpitations because they've now discovered that they're actually sensitive to that magnesium stearate. So heart palpitations, upset stomach, acid reflux. So buyer beware, check all your vitamin labels. And there are some other potentially other toxic ingredients that could be lurking in your supplements as well. And for that, I have another video. It's called Avoid These seven toxic ingredients in your supplements. I want you to check it out. I'll see you there.